You've learned the belly dance move called the horizontal hip slide, but something still doesn't look right. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to troubleshoot your hip slide, show you five common mistakes and how to fix them. Coming up. Marhaba dancers, I am Jen Suya, helping you to achieve your belly dance dreams with the technique and culture of belly dance. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure that you get every one of our videos that we upload each Monday and sometimes on Thursdays too. Let's begin troubleshooting the hip slide with our feet because this is the one that really is the least obvious of all, but was one that really, I like had really sore feet when I first started doing this move. And because we are pushing our hips so so far out with a big range of motion to keep our bodies from falling over, we have to spread our toes out and plant our feet. And as we're pushing, the tendency is to roll out. So what you have to do is look down and say, hey, am I rolling out on my feet? And if you are pushed down on the, like your big toe and the inside of your feet, as you push out. Another thing that I do is after I finish practicing this move, I rub the bottom of my feet, take something and roll the feet on a ball or something to keep that these uh, muscles a little bit soft. Same thing with the calf muscles, the shins, the quads, everything is working. So for sure, do a lot of stretching and other therapies that help keep your muscles nice and flexible. So troubleshooting number one, check your feet and make sure that the insides of your feet stay planted on the floor as you are pushing from side to side. Moving up, the next thing is the knees. The knees, both knees have to stay bent. Now, as we're pushing to the side, the hip that's going out, that knee straightens a little bit, but not all the way, because if we do it all the way, we're not gonna be able to isolate the move. So we keep them both bent and pushing as we push the hips out, the feet are staying flat and the knees, you can see that my knees from that side view, you can see that both knees stay bent, one a little bit more than the other. Moving up from the feet to the knees, now to the hips. Again, we're keeping our hips tucked forward and this is the proper um, posture for this. But watch what happens if I release that forward tuck in the pelvis and let it go back it kind of looks awkward and also can turn more into, if you, especially if you straighten your knees, a more of a, a salsa type look, so, which is very cool, but we're trying to learn belly dance here. So again, feet planted, knees bent, hips tucked forward, and lifting the rib cage. So the hips stay tucked forward. So as you're pushing out, you've got, it's like your hip bones are out in front of you. It's tricky, you're getting a serious workout on this from your legs all the way through your abs. And the fourth area to troubleshoot, moving on up the body, is in the sort of rib cage area. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna start out doing it correctly, and now something's gonna go wrong in the fourth area. Can you see it? It's kind of tricky, but basically I released my rib cage, I let go, I disengaged my abs. I mean, it's really hard to hold this stuff for a long time. When you do that, it just kind of makes the move sloppy and it, it kind of contracts, no pun intended, the abdominal area so you can't see the move as well. So if I'm keeping you know, knees, hips forward, rib cage lifted and my hips kind of in front a little bit. Again, this can be very rigorous. You can see the move much better, particularly if you have a physique that's like mine where I don't have a lot of difference in the size of my rib cage to my hips. Some people have nice wide hips, makes their hip slides look really cool. Or if you're a little bit more voluptuous, you can really show off those moves. If you're a small person, if you're skinny, you have to actually work harder to show the move. So you definitely want to keep your ribs lifted and put the hips out front and push side to side. So we've got the feet, the knees, the hips, the chest, and the fifth one, which is the one that you guys hear me talk about in like every video because it's so important. 
and it's so neglected by dancers, and this is the one that's gonna just boost your dancing and make it look awesome. And that's one of timing, so that your move is timed to the music. Now, you don't have to go fast. You can start nice and slow or medium rate, because sometimes going really slowly is harder. But if you time it so that your maximum range of motion is on some multiple of the beat, it might be one, two, three, four, or in two beats, one, two, three, four, or in four beats, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It can get very tedious and it can seem very, um, it can seem very geeky, sort of like a nerd. It's like, oh, I'm supposed to be dancing and embodying the music, so why should I be counting? Well, as we're speaking, we learn spelling and grammar and, and all of the rules of language so that we can just speak improvisationally, right? Have a conversation. It's the same thing with dance. To dance well, just like to speak well, you have to practice the basics. And one of the best things is the timing because we are trying to put the music on our bodies so we want that to match the timing of the music. So there you go, dancers. Five common mistakes that I see, that doesn't mean that these are easy to fix. They definitely take a lot of practice. Enjoy the process. Um, if you practice in like short, like five minute, five minute workouts a day, it's really effective so that you don't, you know, burn everything out or get too sore. So if you found value in this, smash the like button, share this with a friend, leave me a comment on which one of those five areas have you noticed in your dancing that needs improvement? Maybe it's all five, like it is for me, like I'm constantly practicing this stuff. So what to watch next? You can do a five minute workout and practice this. Go back and do the video on actually how to do the hip slide. Masalama, we'll see you on the next video. Doom, doom, tech tech doom, tech tech Doom, doom, tech tech doom, tech tech Doom, doom, tech tech doom.